Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. This week I am starting the week with a giveaway because ever since I did my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, which so many people entered, I've said I'm going to be doing more. So I've ran a couple on Instagram, which if you don't follow me, it's just Freya Farrington 1. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, I tend to run the odd giveaway over on there, but I thought I would do another one here on my YouTube channel. So this morning I'm starting this video with a giveaway from Anna Luisa Jewelry. It's a gorgeous brand with lots of really, really pretty pieces. They had one pair of earrings in particular. I couldn't wait to get my hands on, but they were sold out. So I am keep on refreshing the page, hoping that they'll come back in stock. But they did very kindly gift me two of my favourite pieces to show you, along with three sets of earrings to give away to three of you guys. So the first pair of earrings that I got gifted were these. Really, really pretty. And like I said, I'm into gold jewellery in particular at the moment. They also sent me two other gold pieces from their collection. The first being these pair of earrings. Uh, they sit like so. And I just think they're so pretty. They also do this in a slightly different metal finish that's more of like a speckled silver and gold. I just went for the plain gold. And then lastly, very, very pretty, this little bangle. And it, again, it's got that like hammered effect around the edge. And it just sits onto your wrist like this. And it's very, very thin. So I love the like minimal design of this. Thank you so much firstly to Anna Luisa for gifting me those pieces. They've also gifted one, two, three sets of earrings all the same style from their limited edition collection to gift to you. Again, they are gold earrings and they've got this cute little tassel detail which is very in at the minute and that is what they look like. So, rules to enter the giveaway. First of all, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Secondly, I will leave a URL link in the description box for you to click and sign up for free. Browse their jewellery, have a look, see what you like. And if you want to make a purchase, I have a discount code for you, which is FREYA15 for money off. And then once you have signed up for free, had a little browse on their website, comment down below letting me know that you entered. And I will be in touch with the three selected winners winners next week so 1st of July this will finish it's open internationally so that is the giveaway good luck to everybody who enters and now on with the rest of the week I've got my trusty booths free coffee which I get every morning I've actually also got an event on Thursday at the Trafford Centre at Goldsmiths I have a couple in Manchester as well but whether or not I'm gonna get to them all in time I don't know for now I'm gonna crack on with work I've also got this to do later on today we have a few very brown looking bananas. So that's an excuse to make banana bread in my opinion. All these tabs are things that I think I'm gonna purchase from Zephore. Oh, I like that swimming costume. This is what I do, like open link tab and I just shop and browse entire websites, get them all up and then whittle it down, then add to basket and purchase. Oh, that's pretty. Open link. So yeah, this is what I do when I browse on my website. So that's pretty, but I wish it was in like beige and white polka dots. You got a friend in me. What are you having? Venison burger. Venison burger? Venison burger? Oh, good. What's on yours? It's hummus and feta mine. Tom's gone for venison burger. Two for one. Someone is loving life right now. I've just put the hammock away, but it's really good. Like, considering we've got like such a small space, I'm really happy that we got a hammock because it's just nice to sit out there. And it means that when I'm, or if Tom is sat in the hammock here, usually this area is in sun. So at the minute, if you actually sit on that chair, your face is still in the sun. I mean, it is going down a bit now because it's probably about six o'clock, but. Ooh. I'm gonna drop my phone. Just got back from Booth's, grabbed myself a Booth's lasagna, which is currently in the oven cooking. But I've also got some ingredients for my banana bread. So I think I'm gonna follow this recipe, which I've found similar to this, but they've put icing sugar and banana chips on the top, but I probably won't do that. If this isn't big enough, I've also found this. So I can make like little muffin or cupcakes, however they're gonna come out. I feel like the lighting's not gonna be very good here. So sorry about that. It's a bit backlit, I can't do it that way because I've not got a work surface to work from. I'm 
I'm just gonna pop them in. Double yoga! I've never had that before. They do exist. So does that count as two eggs? Right, now I'm gonna mash the bananas in a different bowl and then add that to the mixture. And into the oven they go. Excuse the hair situation, I just threw it up because I was doing some ironing and getting pretty hot. Ooh, this is what it looks like. Can I have a verdict? What do we think? Mmm, 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 mmm. Look how light it is. Good, isn't it? You're brown, yeah. I know, I told you, you're brown. I'm very pale. Mmm. It's good, bad. I'm gonna watch 24 hours. Oh, it's on 24 hours in police custody, and then Love Island. Yay. This is what the banana bread looks like. Delicious. And my coffee. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna have to put the camera down. So my uh, Tuesday has taken a different turn. You guys will have missed this. I don't know if you can catch up on it or not. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to be on BBC Radio 2 in about 45 minutes because they're doing a feature on the fact that Pound World has gone into administration. And ironically enough, I'm actually editing my Poundland haul at the minute. So that's going to go live tomorrow. So it'll already be live for you. But oh, I'm a bit nervous. I'm going to be on Jeremy Vine's show and I don't I don't listen to BBC Radio 2 I'm going to be completely honest so a lot of their listeners probably um are new to the whole YouTubing world and blogging world so we'll see how that goes I literally have the face for radio right now but I have like hardly any makeup on hair up in a little bun like comfy casual clothes on so yeah I'm glad it's over the telephone. I did it! I just told my dad he was like, what? I got two deliveries just before I went live on air on BBC Radio 2. Um, so I got two things. I got something from L'Occitane and something from Dolls Kill, which is a brand that I've shopped before and I was really impressed with it. Oh God. It's not ultimately a brand that stood out to me as one that I would typically shop. But like I said, I did find out a couple of bits last time that I loved. I did a couple of Instagram pictures and very kindly got Sorry, i don't know that one. why is alexa talking to me she always talks to me it's scary oh this is the event that we've been invited to i say we <laughs> i have been invited to along with other bloggers to the trafford center on thursday which is at goldsmiths yeah learning a bit about their bridal collections so that should be fun first one i'm going to open is from Tan. i believe this is what they gifted me to basically gift to my dad for Father's Day along with um, the other bits that I've already got him. They have sent me something in here. Oh, it smells gorgeous already. I can smell it. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so beautifully wrapped. I don't want to open it, but I will. <laughs> so inside we've got three products. We've got a shower gel, which is L'Homme Colonne Cedra. And this is the deodorant spray, last but not least the cologne okay and then they've also sent something in this which i'm not sure what it is oh it might be um i've seen a new release of an arborean product i think that's how you pronounce the brand yes it is it's their bamboo glow dewy effect cream they have this in matte finish as well if you prefer matte finishes but at the minute i'm really liking that dewy glowy fresh faced kind of look for summertime so this is what it looks like look how gorgeous that color is okay so it's got tiny little flecks of glitter i don't know how well it'll pay off on camera can you see that really really pretty like a perfect skin activator bamboo glow is a two-in-one hybrid product that combines hydration with luminosity apply to the face every day as a moisturizer and or makeup base yeah i would probably use this as a makeup base i think more of like a primer smells nice as well and then i'm gonna pop you down and open up this package with you which is dolls kill like i said so it comes with this tissue paper on top and then i've got one two three four five 
five things to try on for you. So I'm gonna do that now. Excuse the state of me right now. I'm not looking too glam, but you know, it's an everyday occurrence of just comfy clothes when I'm just working from home. So let's try on these. So it's actually from a brand called Audrey. An oversized slouchy knit style top. Recently we've been really lucky with the weather, but on the odd occasion that we do have a slightly cooler evening, something like this to throw over the top, even with some like denim shorts is really nice. But obviously this is more of an all year round piece for me. As always, I'm just wearing my pretty little thing trousers, which I live in, they're so comfy. But I probably wouldn't wear these two together because the two tones are slightly, like this is cool toned and that's more of a beigey, warm toned. This is so nice. Let me see if I can show you a bit closer up the material fabric of this. It's so soft. I suppose they do come from different brands. I will say that. I don't think I've ever had anything that has Doll's Kill on it. It's from different brands. And then we also have a two-piece. Love a good two-piece. This is the top. Love the colour of this. It's like a creamy beige colour. And it is like in this stretchy kind of fabric. This is from a brand called Meek. And then it has a little tie details for around your arms. And it's paired with these cute little shorts. Right, I'm going to try these on. I think it's super, super cute. I would say I prefer the shorts to be a little higher just because... It's currently like sat on my belly button. I just like it just slightly above, but you know, it's okay. And what I love about cords and two pieces like this is that you can, you know, they're versatile. You can wear them together or as separates. So you've got several outfits in one set, essentially. They do have a double lining. So yeah, love this set, so cute. I'll leave all the links to these below. This is, oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, I love this. Oh, see everything I really like from there. Etoff Studio is the brand. Cute little frill detail on there. It is a jumpsuit with a tie around the middle. I mean, it's got this cute little button down detail there as well. If I could create a jumpsuit, it would probably be very similar to this. It's got pockets as well. Lydia, next time I'm coming to Manchester, this is my choice of clothing to photograph because how could I not? It's so cute and pretty and in this weather as well with the UK, I like something covering my legs usually just because if it gets a bit cooler in an evening then my legs are covered. This is another jumpsuit and it's a bit more in the style of like broderie anglaise, crochet kind of detailed jumpsuit. It's got panels here but then a little cut out and it does have a tie around the middle as well this one so it's from a brand called Blue Blush in a size medium and let's try it on. Oh my god! I love this. So it's got like this panel here so you can go braless with it and be comfortable. It's nice and tight and secure. The only thing is this short detail which I'm not a massive fan of but I don't hate it. I am in love with this. So pretty, so girly, dainty, feminine. Everything that I'm loving in summer fashion right now, this is it. So I'm sorry, but I take back if that could be me in a jumpsuit because I like this one just as much, if not a little bit more. But that's just because of like the style of it, the design, the fit, everything about this is just so cute. A little straw bag, maybe even a fedora, sunglasses, and I feel like I'm in Saint-Tropez. <laughs> so excited to wear this when I next have a trip maybe to the city in the sunshine. Okay, last but not least, I think this is a top. And this one is from the brand Cotton Candy LA. Very pretty again, really well made. The fabric is incredible. And it's just that kind of similar to the Broderie Anglaise style frilly crochet lace type top. It's one of those tops that because of the sheerness of the front, you kind of do have to wear a bra with it. So I've just put a little uh, Poundland crop top that I wear on, and I think you can get away with that. 
Hi there, can I order for collection please? One of the mixed charcoal grill kebabs. And then can I have a small chicken kebab on pita? All the uh, salad, no cabbage and garlic mayonnaise. Thank you very much. You. Bye. We're getting takeaway. Although it's fairly healthy because it's on pita. We usually get it on naan bread, which is really unhealthy. And then um, it just comes with loads of salad and it's chicken. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So yeah, Tom's just called. He said he's five minutes away and uh, just going to wait for him to get back. Then we'll go get some money out and go pick up our food because it's already half six. I've just uploaded my Poundland haul, which is going live tomorrow. It'll already be up for you. So again, as I always keep saying, uh, it'll be linked for you to watch if you want. I also started watching this whilst well, just doing all the editing of the thumbnail and description. It's the 100k drop. Whatever happened to the million pound drop? <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday. <laughs> I am working from home today and heading into Manchester tomorrow, but I've just received news that my new car is now ready for collection, which means, I said it's Tuesday, didn't I? It's not, it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, anyway, because I have the event tomorrow in Manchester, I am going to have to stay here until then and then go meet my mum on Friday. Basically, the car that I'm picking up, which is a C3 Flare, if you're interested, is from a dealership in Doncaster, which is where closer to where my parents live at the minute. So I'll meet my mum at the train station there. She'll take me to the car place, pick up my new car. And with it being Father's Day on Sunday, I thought I would stay at home for a couple of nights, go for breakfast or something Sunday morning, because George will be home in the morning as well, my younger brother. Um, also, speaking of Father's Day, I've just spotted this out of the corner of my eye. Hotel Chocolat very kindly gifted me this, which is Old Fossil, bit of tongue in cheek, dark chocolate. We're keeping the dark chocolate one. They also sent a milk chocolate, because my dad only really likes milk chocolate. So, going to wrap his presents now. Oh, and then I got him this card, because I love lions. To a great dad on Father's Day, you are king of our pride. How cute is that card? I also got sent this uh, in the post today. I've already opened it because I wasn't sure what it was. It's from a brand called Nicole Vienna. And inside is, love their packaging, is a watch. Ooh. It is gold, which is very much my style. And it's got like a black face with like a marble design there, which I really like. It's very subtle. The only thing is, is it's at the minute way too big. So I need to get that sent into a jeweler's just to take out a couple of links. But as for now, I'm going to wrap these presents and let the time lapse begin. It is a bit later on this afternoon. I've just been literally spending all afternoon searching different car insurance providers and I've finally gone with Admiral. So, <sighs> done, done, paid for, sorted. And this evening, Tom is working at the bar so he's not gonna be home till late. So I'm gonna head over to Boo's, grab something for dinner now. Have an early-ish night, as in like, as soon as I've had dinner, I'm gonna get showered, hair washed, mask, and everything like that, a bit of a pamper. So yeah, I just wanna make sure I'm all hair washed, showered, prepared, ready, so that I don't have to rush in the morning, because I honestly, it takes me so long to dry my hair that it's just not worth it. It's better washing my hair the night before. And also, I find that my hair, like, holds the curl better as well, if I wash it the day before curling it, so yeah. What can I have for dinner tonight? I think I might just fancy soup and fresh bread. Good morning, I'm actually in Burnley at the minute. It's ready to go to Manchester. So I'm gonna either wait here for the train or get the bus in, I'm not sure yet, depending on timings and everything. I'm just at a new place, I can't really show too much, um, that Tom's working on at the minute, so. Very exciting stuff. Decided I'm gonna get the bus in, and I think it's funny how there's a bus to Boohoo. What do we think? Just kind of came across it and I really like it. It's in the sale for 140 from DKNY. So I'm just heading into Art Suit to Bobby Brown and it is windy. Hi, oh, hi, I'm nice to meet you. Hello, Kim. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit cold. <laughs> wow. 
it looks so cool. Thank you. This is my little makeup station. We're going to be doing a little bit of a masterclass and learning how to do our makeup with the hashtag can't live without with Bobby Brown. So I'm very excited for this. I'm usually very pale. Do you like to be a shade Um I generally just stick with a, a fair shade and just bronze it up if needs be. So match these skin tone foundation and use your bronzer. Yeah. And colour matched if anyone wants to. Oh, my braids are really nice, actually. Which one? Warm ivory. Warm ivory. Yeah. Yeah. So they try tight as well. So I've just been colour matched with Warm Ivory for foundation, porcelain for concealer, and almond for bronzer. We're we'll taking you through our Can't Live Without campaign, which is so exciting uh, because this is something that's going to be going through forever and ever with Bobby Brown. <laughs> so let me explain a little bit about what we're going to do, um, what Can't Live Without is all about. Ten products. Funnily enough, that we can't live without. It's products that we have been told by our artists, you know, our, um, our customers, like people in Bobby Brown, people who have been in Bobby Brown for years upon years, and that they can't live without. I feel so funny, keep, I keep saying it. I'm like, <laughs> in the taxi en route to the Trafford Centre. I'm with Irina and just trying my new shoes on which I got from River Island. So I'm actually going to change into them because I'm only in flats and we're going to an event with Goldsmiths. So I feel like I'm going to join you with a little bit of a heel. I'm not, you're not in it. <laughs> She's like, come on. <laughs> event and we're just trying on three different styles which they've created timeless modern and vintage and I honestly think I'm a mixture of all three this one is vintage and I think it's really pretty I'll show you the other vintage one as well this is the other one which is slightly bigger slightly better <laughs> So I've now met up with Tom, we've come to Chow Baby to have dinner, it's like an all you can eat Thai buffet, although I'm like deliberating whether or not to do it because I'm not that hungry. We are home, I'm doing like circles because I wanted to show you just a couple of bits that we got before Love Island starts, so we got back in time for Love Island on Plus One, which excites me greatly. I did pick up two bits from River Island in the sale. Sales have started, they're really good. So I picked up these shoes. I just liked the tan, the block heel, so they're nice and comfy to walk in, and the kind of like woven design here, if you know what I mean. That kind of, it's very summery. It's the sort of shoe that, you know, will last for this summer. They're only 20 pounds. And then I also picked up a blazer, which is in like a standard staple color, which I feel I'll get a lot of use out of. So if you see it on outfit pictures on Instagram a lot, then this is why, this is what it is. It is in a size 10, full price 68 pounds down to 35. Standard beige blazer with 
big wooden buttons they're kind of like really dark tortoise shell brown dark brown tortoise shell from goldsmiths we got gifted a lovely piece of jewelry <gasps> a really pretty very minimal which is me as you know uh bracelet so yeah that's what that looks like and of all the 12 or so rings from the collection when tom arrived he picked my favorite one and then um we also got from bobby brown earlier on in the day we got this little makeup purse type thing just checking love island's not on yet their vitamin enriched face base which contains shea butter vitamins c and e this smells incredible it's really like citrusy and lemony and zesty and fresh so it's the ideal thing you want to put on your face as a primer we got two of their makeup brushes this is the full coverage touch up and the full coverage face makeup brushes one of the mascaras which i already have a couple of these actually but i've opened it and used it now so i can't donate it it is really good it's not my favorite like my go-to and one that i always tend to repurchase is the lancome hypnose that is my favorite they also gifted us a lipstick i got sunset orange which is this gorgeous bright corally orange color which I love wearing this color in summer with a tan like on holiday and then I also got pale coral pale coral oh she actually gave me another one as well god so I've got three lipsticks I actually only thought I had two. Oh well pale coral is that color there we go and then last but not least pale mauve this one is very much a my kind of everyday color more of a pinky nude shade as you can see there this is this reminds me of the charlotte tilbury one i have and then we also have in here truffle um for the eye what do we call these long wear cream eyeshadow stick <gasps> love island's on guys and then also the eyebrow pencil in blonde so that's everything we got and now time for love island i'm um, we're up super early tomorrow heading home to go and pick up my car tomorrow Anyway, love all the time. Good night, guys. Good morning. Up early this morning. <coughs> As you can tell, I'm just waiting for Tom to finish getting ready. Here he comes. We're heading across to a place called Geisy, where Tom's working today. And then I'm going to get the train to Doncaster from there, meet my mum, go grab my new car, pick that up, and then maybe go and visit my grandma and then see what we end up doing for the rest of the day and then drive back sunday are you playing cricket sunday yeah at clitheroe let me know and i might come and watch you what? depending on the weather we'll see my mum's picked me up now we're just having a mooch around tk max i've got my new car just shut the boot and show you what it looks like. It is a Citroen C3 flare. Da -da -da. Black with white roof and I love it. I'm having to get used to a manual again, which actually is very easy. And then we're waiting for my grandma to get back and then we're all gonna go out for some lunch. I'm gonna see her dog too. Hey. Oh, look at him trying to get his toy. Hello. I can't see your face. You camouflaged. You got treats in there. What's this, Billy? What's this? A treat. Oh. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, oh they're everywhere. <laughs> Look at him. Look here. You have to pick them up, Billy Boy. Hair up in a clip because I'm comfy's on. Because I'm pretty much spending the rest of this afternoon here. I'm at my parents, by the way. Um, this is when I first started my channel. I started filming here. Who was here from the beginning? So I've actually got the same as what my mum has um george my younger brother drives this as well theirs is one with a red roof and mine is a white one battery's about to die but i just wanted to sort of like check in with you so then i'm back and i met my parents i'm gonna make a coffee now an espresso crack on with sunday's video to edit so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have it in this little mug which is from iceland i think george bought this for my mum when he went traveling there ages ago so Coffee time and work time.
morning. It is Saturday this morning and I have just jumped in my new car. So I'm just going to head out whilst I'm here visiting my parents. I feel like I'm going to go into their town centre which is a place called Retford where there are quite a few charity shops. It is a Saturday so I'm hoping they're all open. I think they will be. I'm kind of timing it around about midday so I can go grab lunch. They've got a Costa coffee there as well. That is my plan for this next couple of hours whilst my video is uploading to YouTube because tomorrow is Father's Day and we are going to head out for breakfast with the fam before heading back to watch Tom play cricket I think because it's directly en route for me so um, yeah, I might pop in and see him play cricket, but for now, let's go do a little bit of charity browsing, charity shop browsing, and see what Redford has to offer. luck unfortunately this time but Bernardo's was definitely the best I'd recommend going there everything pretty much everything was $1.99 which is kind of good uh, good price point and yeah that was the best success in terms of I've had a good browse and I would definitely look to come back here to do a charity shop haul but I've got so much already to show you guys that um, you'll have seen if you've seen the video already that um, I'm just gonna stick with that for now and then keep my eyes peeled for maybe future charity shop hauls if that's something you're interested in. Good morning, it is Sunday today and I'm gonna go give my dad his Father's Day present and then we're all gonna go out for a nice brunch. And then I'm gonna head back via maybe Burstall but we might just go and watch Tom play a little bit of cricket and then head home later this evening. So, happy Father's Day. It's a bit windy. <laughs> We've come to Dad's favourite place. We're at Gamston Airport I'm with my bro, my dad, and my mum. Thank you. Thanks. Delish. What's a hen's egg? It's an egg from a hen. We're all done with breakfast. Shall I follow you? Right, we're all in separate cars because we're all going off on our separate directions. Ugh. Like I said, I'm heading back to Burnley, George is heading back to uni, mum and dad are heading back home. But I'm going to follow them, we're going to a quick farm shop which do ice cream, but it's a little bit cold for ice cream. Look, everyone's got ice cream. And all the cyclists, the aeroplane. <laughs> Go on then, see if it'll take it off you. So that's not food. Hello. Nothing too exciting. Oh, that's beautiful, that colour. Hello. Get some for you too. You've had some. Naughty. pit stop because well why not um i actually when i set off tom called me saying that his mum's not going to play going to play going to watch him play cricket so there's no one for me to sit with and it's also kind of miserable weather which if you know anything about cricket sitting and waiting and watching the rain to stop is not a fun spectating sport so i figured en route i might as well pit stop it's literally just off the motorway but also i remember seeing an advert that ikea have got um a sale on up until like 7th of january uh, Jan january july so if that's the case i'll nip in and see if there are any good bargains to be had um but first stop home sense Not much luck at home since and now IKEA. I 
didn't end up getting any, anything from Ikea either. I don't really need anything. I was just like browsing the sales and it was just like the odd item which was maybe a little bit reduced. So it was alright. I just don't need anything. Not in the shopping mood. So instead, treated myself to this and the box of donuts. I got a coffee cooler, Lotus Biscoff, which is my favourite, and then the chocolate sprinkles one in the middle is like second to that. And then I got a chocolate dream cake, which I think Tom will like, so that one's for him, or you can have the chocolate sprinkles one, whichever he prefer. Finally back home, I've just packed up and I'm doing that typical, <sighs> got things to unload and I just can't be bothered, so I'm just sat in the car on my phone. <laughs> And I should really just go inside. But anyway, I just wanted to wrap up this week's weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it as much as the previous ones. And also don't forget if you've made it this far already to enter my giveaway. All the information is listed below if you want to enter. Good luck and I will see you again next time. Bye guys.